Hi, I'm Min Ho Jung from Seoul, Korea. Cholesterol occlusion is one of the common problems in our field. And some of the class 2 patients have chin deficiency. Chin deficiency can be produced by excessive vertical growth or by small mandible. What are your treatment options for chin deficiency? The absolute intrusion had been one of the most difficult tooth movement. But after introducing or stoning many implants, we can provide the absolute intrusion effectively. Researchers showed that posterior intrusion can produce counterclockwise mandibular rotation and as a result, increase of the overbite and forward movement of chin were obtained. If you want to use intrusion in chin deficiency patients, please consider these four related factors. By the posterior intrusion and subsequent mandibular plane rotation, lower incisor moves forward and upward. If the patient's overbite or overjet was not enough, premature contact in incisors can be observed during the intrusion. So overbite and overjet should be controlled during the treatment. When you move the upper incisors superiorly, amount of incisor display will be decreased. Incisor intrusion can be used only in the patient with excessive incisor display, like the patients in the upper figures. Intrusion of upper molars frequently induce compensatory extrusion of lower molars. When the extrusion of lower molars is undesirable, prevention method should be considered. If the amount of anterior intrusion is greater than posterior intrusion, smile arc will become flatter. Upper occlusal plane angulation can be used to evaluate the smile arc. Let me show you the treated case. A 14-year-old girl with a chief complaint of crowded dentition and protrusive lip profile came to my clinic. Large overbite and overjet, crowding, and midline deviation were observed. Cephalometric measurements showed larger AMB and protrusive profile. Let's see the four related factors of this patient. Because of deep overbite, Anterior intrusion should be much greater than posterior intrusion. Incisor show was excessive a little during smile. Because the large amount of anterior intrusion was planned, greater amount of lower incisor intrusion was needed. To prevent compensatory extrusion, orthoning mini implants were placed in the lower arch. Smile arc was not excessive so flattening of smile lock should be minimized. As the figure shows, whole arch intrusion and primal extraction treatment were performed. Large amount of lower incisor intrusion was provided to minimize the side effects. Post-treatment facial photographs showed a balanced facial profile with improved chin position. Overbite and overjet were also improved. Mandibular plane closed about 4 degrees, and AMB was improved from 6.3 to 2.8 degrees. Pogonion moved forward about 5.2 millimeters. Amount of lower incisor intrusion was 6.5 millimeters. Results were stable after 14 months of retention. By the mandibular plane rotation, patient profile was improved significantly. Intrusion using mini implants is a very useful option in the treatment of chin deficiency patients. I hope this case report may help you use this kind of approach. Thank you for your kind attention.